Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Chef Mike Beltron. Uh, I just wanted to create this video for you guys to kind of like give you an idea of what I do as a personal chef. I get a lot of questions asked. What is it that you do? How do you do it? What type of meals do you serve? Things like that. So I kind of just want to give you guys a little background of what I've been doing for my personal chef business. Currently right now I work with a doctor by the name of Dr. Brian Glick. His office is located in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, it's called the Integrated Health Institute. So a lot of the things that I do for him is um, I meal prep for his clients. And um, what we do is we focus on the actual food. You know, we use food as medicine. So by, by doing that, we eliminate corn, dairy, eggs, uh, gluten. Um, we go more towards the uh, grass-fed beef, uh, pasteurized chicken, wild-caught Alaskan, um, things like that so that way we're making sure we're putting the best in our bodies and i could tell you i've probably worked about with a dozen of his patients that were they had certain uh certain symptoms or certain uh things wrong with their health that we actually reversed the the symptoms so for instance diabetes uh, we i could literally tell you and i can't stress this enough um, at least a handful of his patients I've cooked for had diabetes and we actually reversed the diabetes, which is amazing. Um, no more insulin, anything like that. Um, you know, introducing healthy fats. I mean, a lot of people think, oh, fat, that's not good for you. There's actually amazing healthy fats out there like avocados, avocado oil, um, coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, um, uh, ghee i mean there's there's a lot of good healthy fats out there it's just knowing which ones to to get so my job as a chef is to provide this for my clients um and a lot of people don't realize that eating bad can cause digestive problems headaches sinuses uh, low energy depression eczema mood swings all that's related to food so if you ever Go out to eat and you notice within a couple hours that you have like this severe headache and it might be because of the food that you just ate your body isn't is tolerant to what you what you've eaten a lot of people think well i don't have food allergies because i don't have hives or i didn't get all red in my face or whatnot um, that doesn't necessarily mean that you don't have the food allergy the food allergy could come from having headaches or mood swings or all that stuff that i just mentioned so what i do is I use the opposite of the products, you know, so I use anti-inflammatory foods, which is like turmeric, ginger, um, beets, blueberries, things like that, that will actually help your body um, with inflammation, you know, that's causing your joint pains and all that stuff. So um, leaky gut syndrome is a huge syndrome that a lot of people probably have, but aren't aware of it. Well, leaky gut syndrome, uh, a lot of people don't know what leaky gut syndrome is. It's pretty much when your small intestine lining is damaged and leftover food particles that didn't digest properly are now able to flow through the main bloodstream by going through your your small intestine lining i'm here to educate you guys and let you know that there's a lot of things that we could do to change um, if you guys need any tips or anything on what to do or cooking techniques or whatnot please let me know i would love to provide those for you guys so uh, just comment and let me know what you guys are looking um, to learn. Thank you for listening and more to come.